The Dustbuster umbrella is getting rave reviews from shows such as Regis and Kathy Lee, Good Morning America, CNN, Fox, CNBC, WOR, and WNBC. In 18 months, they've grown to a million-dollar-plus annual operation, selling well over 100,000 units. At retail, they run from 30 to 100 bucks. Growing at 50% every month over last year can be traced mostly to rainy days on the PGA Tour. And we took the Gustbuster out in real gust. I can see, I can see it works more than what, what I have here. Good luck with the umbrella. I wish I could give you this one. Oh, I love it. <laughs> on days like this, New York is littered with corpses of umbrellas that couldn't take it. See, this could have been you. Not even bother with an umbrella when it gets like this. But Steve Asman lives for downpours. That's because the worse the weather, the better he expects sales will be of his new invention. He claims to offer the rain-soaked weary something they've always wanted, an umbrella that doesn't cave in. That brings me here to the College of Aeronautics. That's where the umbrella was originally tested by this machine. It can crank out wind strong enough to blow you right off your feet. But to be totally fair, we tested two other umbrellas. First up, the trusty Fox umbrella. The wind was too much for it. In the end, the material ripped. Next up, your basic foldable umbrella. Not bad, not bad, it flips, but no rips. Now for the big kahuna. At 20 miles an hour, it's still going strong. By 60 miles an hour, it's blowing away the competition. In a standard umbrella, all you have, the only kind of effect you have as far as loading is concerned is a, is a distribution of forces that causes this to be pulled upward right. along the whole peripheral. And you see that it, as this thing just inverts, right? Whereas in, in Gustbuster, you have a double layer fabric, which allows the air to get beneath the lower layer, passing through here, right? And then, then tending to pull it back down again. The final test, of course, is up to you. Tell me about the ambulance. This is great. We call it a turbulence. Uh, we put a wind tunnel on the back of it. Uh, it's an event. We use the lights and sirens to attract attention. The higher van with the lights, people want to go over and see what it is. We're creating an event for retailers. It goes back to marketing and customer service. When you're an umbrella, you can't afford always to advertise on TV or radio because you're just an umbrella. So we've figured out ways to help our customers sell through. may not sell through today, but those people remember that they watched somebody stand in a fan with their cheeks going like this and their hair straight back and uh, holding on with their hands vibrating like this and they remember they'll come back and buy it. The person we have to thank for this ingenious device is the president of the Gus Buster Company, Steve Aspen. A Gustbuster umbrella is an umbrella with holes in it that you don't get wet. It releases pressure so the umbrella doesn't flip. It's basically flip-proof to over 55 miles an hour. The Gustbuster umbrella has two canopies. The outer canopy keeps the rain off and the inner canopy's vents allow the air to pass through. The fiberglass construction lessens the chance of attracting lightning. When wind hits the umbrella, air escapes between the canopies, preventing the umbrella from turning inside out. And this is our newest umbrella, the Metro. This is our automatic version. Now, it won't, won't expend, bend back and actually break the frame won't break? No, no, it's made not to. We have a, uh, in fact, this particular umbrella has an additional patent in there. We call it our butterfly clip. It makes all these pieces go to one. We use a completely redesigned frame, carbonized steel ribs, aluminum, and fiberglass for weight and strength considerations of where the pressure points are. But the main patent and what makes this umbrella work is right here protect that gust of wind, allowing these vent holes to work, because when a gust of wind comes with an umbrella, with all those moving parts, it comes up against the end. This piece locks in, allowing the vents to release, and you don't get wet. I mean, it's, it's rather obvious. This has to be one of the best umbrellas around. Yeah. trying to hide under his umbrella. Forget it, Greg. Average wind speed today, 40 miles per hour. In sports, particularly golf, the umbrella becomes a required piece of equipment. 
And here's one of the latest toys on the tour. It's called the Gus Buster. When you began this, what made you focus on the world of golf? Demographics, uh, they're willing to spend a little more money for a quality product. Our umbrella can, can't be sold in a discount store because basically it costs more to make. A who's who of golf club manufacturers now use the Gus Buster. In fact, the first time he managed to talk a couple of pros into carrying them. The guys who came in first and second were carrying my umbrella. Now, I'm not saying that, that I'm, I'm not going to make you play Tell better in golf. Game. I know the major players on the tour, they all flock to you, don't they? Major players, the ones, the big, the, the biggest names, uh, Arnold Palmer gave me all his companies the first day, gave him the umbrella. Uh, Greg Norman made his company carry it. And when you add the umbrellas that the other tour players carry with our logo on it itself, we're about, we're, we're over 85% of the tour. The Gus Buster umbrellas were created to fulfill a single purpose to produce the finest windproof umbrellas possible and sell them at a price that offers the best value. Our knowledgeable staff is ready to assist you with your order. Most important, we're committed to keeping the Gus Buster umbrella the finest in the world. Singing in 